Welcome to the Sanity Summer Release Demo. I'm Tarun, a product marketer at Sanity. We have an exciting suite of new features to cover today, all of which continue to improve the content experience by making it as strong as the developer experience. We'll start with an overview of what we built and then bring it all to life with an end-to-end -end demo of all of these exciting features. Joining me today is Patrick Wallace, Head of Customer Solutions at Sanity. Welcome, Patrick. Hey, TG. Happy to be here. Uh, this really is a, a powerhouse roundup of releases that really focuses on delivering two things that companies really need. First, to reach their audiences with standout, amazing content, and second, to do so efficiently at scale. Let's start with the theme of today's uh, webinar. You mentioned the releases really elevate the content experience, but I got to say, TG, you know, it, it, it really elevates not just the editorial experience and the content experience, but it really raises the bar for the developer experience too. Yep, you totally got me there. And that's very true. The releases we'll walk through today improve the content operations experience and the dev experience to build it. We've got AI Assist, Perspectives and Improvements to Previews. This one's deceivingly simple, but there's a lot jam-packed in there. And Visual Editing. Let's start off with Sanity AI Assist. What's the problem we're solving there? Well, of course it's chores. We have to pulverize them, right? That actually is uh, from a demo video that our team created and it's too fun to not share. Let's roll the clip. AI can summarize text or, you know, write a mediocre first draft. So nice enough, but we robots are even better at doing chores. So you humans can do the, you know, strategic and creative stuff. Meet Sanity AI Assist. It's a robot that knows how to work with structured content. With just a sentence or two, you can create super useful automations to pulverize your chores. Like, take this title and tailor it for your different target audiences. Your instructions become push-button repeatable tasks, so every time you need to do this, you just click the assist. Maybe you offer subscribers personalized recipes that come from different sources. AI Assist can read them and create a neat, structured list of ingredients for you. And even though your content structure might be complex, your instructions can be dead simple. You're welcome. That's another few hours of drudgery off of your plate. AI Assist can even stage your landing page for you, no human data entry errors to clean up. And with Sanity's collaborative editing, you can work alongside, adding that special human touch, like only you can. Yes, and now for the tagline. Sanity AI Assist, here to work. There are so many day-to-day -day tasks and repetitive chores for content teams today. Everything from copying content from your working docs into the CMS to SEO tasks, and to coming up with copy variants for things like titles and headlines. It's all of this that Sanity AI Assist helps with. That's great. You know, helping with chores is a huge efficiency gain. You know, what about using AI Assist for actual content generation? You know, many of the organizations that I talk to and that we, you know, work with every day are already using large language models and chat GPT to help on that front. What are we doing there? Definitely, it helps with that too. For content generation, whether it's long form like a full blog or short form like an excerpt, Sanity AI Assist lets you write a prompt just like you would with using ChatGPT. The bonus is that AI Assist generates content with an understanding of your content model and can output structured content. That's really exciting. I had a chat with one of our customers, Mike Ye from Giddy about AI Assist, and he had some great insights that we asked him to share. I'm Mike Ye. CTO of Austin-based health tech company Giddy. Giddy's mission is to provide science-backed educational resources and FDA-registered products to serve those dealing with problems related to sexual health. The core of our business is built on providing medically accurate and accessible content that helps people discover our brand, trust our expertise, and have faith in the solutions we offer. For most people, questions about sexual health begin online. And traditionally, those answers come from either non-credible wellness experts, or massive medical content farms like WebMD. In order for a startup like us to compete, we needed a content creation process that can be scaled effectively. That's why we're excited about Sanity's AI Assist. When used correctly, AI is an incredibly powerful tool for streamlining the content creation process. Having it built in at the CMS level 
has dramatically increased our creative team's output of SEO content. As soon as they saw the Sanity AI demo, our creative team began to explore new ways to leverage the tools it provides. Sanity is the first CMS I've worked with that combines the creative process with software architecture and technological design that will grow with us as we use AI to better serve our customers at scale. You know, that freedom to test and learn how AI Assist best helps each customer uniquely is amazing. What's up next, TG? Next is all about giving editors options to visualize their content throughout the entire content lifecycle, something we hear often from teams who are navigating the decision to move to a composable CMS. Sanity has offered pretty awesome preview tooling for years now, but we wanted to level up the developer experience for context where Sanity shines, apps with tons of content reuse across all types and channels of devices. Yeah, it's true. You know, it's one of those things that has always been a challenge for organizations moving from a legacy monolith CMS to a modern composable CMS like Sanity. Previews are far more complex to build when experiences are comprised of content from many different sources. Yes, it is a hard problem to solve, but we did. First, we shipped perspectives, which is a new way to pull in the right content variations with a single parameter appended to your content queries. The first perspectives we released are either for retrieving the latest draft content or all published content, and this dramatically simplifies building previews. Next, we use perspectives alongside another recent innovation, content source maps, to provide lightning fast previews for any front end, including mobile apps. And lastly, we extended live preview to work with any React-based application at any scale of document dataset size. Yeah, that's great. You know, so with perspectives, customers will have more options than ever to build previews that give content creators confidence and help them move faster. It's amazing. Totally. And I've got one more for you. A common pain point for customers, especially those coming from legacy monolith CMSs, is the fact that the front end is no longer mapped one-to-one -one with the content within a CMS. It can feel unintuitive and make it hard to find content for a quick update, especially if you're new to the team. I've witnessed that struggle so often, even internally within Sanity. Yeah, it's so funny. I personally had that struggle not too long ago, but again, we've solved it. Visual editing gives Sanity users a one-click path from their website preview directly to that exact field and document within Sanity Studio that powers that content. Let's roll a quick video that brings this value to life. As most folks can relate, finding the content to edit, even in a legacy CMS like WordPress, can often take more time than making the edit itself, but not anymore. Yeah, that's big for the everyday editor, but also when you're onboarding new members of the team. And it really brings the content workflow full circle from those big net new content projects to the daily refreshes and updates that are part of any content manager's life. I'd like to bring in a customer, Kevin Harwood of Tacovas, to hear how visual editing will help his team. I'll let him introduce himself. I'm Kevin Harwood, the CTO at Tacovas. We sell Western boots and apparel online and in brick and mortar stores across the US. When it comes to our site merchandisers, my top priority is giving them an excellent experience as they manage our content and drive our business. They need to be able to work quickly and confidently and have capacity for their most strategic work, like relentless optimization and fine tuning our content. Sanity will streamline the daily work in a bunch of ways, from syncing data with Shopify to high fidelity previews. And now with visual editing, it will help them quickly solve what I think of as the necessary interruptions. It's inevitable that our team either sees or is sent instances of content errors that they need to address. Typically it would be a random page or element that they weren't thinking about at any given moment. So they've got to stop what they're doing, try to track down the source of the content in the studio and then go make the correction. With visual editing, they will be able to open the web page where the error lives and with a single click, jump to the right spot to make the fix. 
That's material time savings for a team that frankly has a lot of other higher order work on their plates. Sanity's been super thoughtful about how to make this easy to implement, and we're excited to prioritize getting this into our team's hands. Lean teams like Kevin's have so much work on their plates. The time savings you get with features like visual editing are huge. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. So now that we've given folks a good overview of these features, let's see them in action with a demo. But first, Patrick, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for joining me today. You bet, TG, thanks for having me. Let's see how our new releases from this summer come to life from Carolina Gonzalez, a lead solutions engineer at Sanity. Welcome, Carolina. Hi, TJ. Uh, really happy to be here. I was very excited to get my hands on all of the amazing new stuff that we shipped this year. That's awesome. So what have you got to show for us today? Sure. Uh, to take a step back, I would love to frame these features in a sort of day in the life of somebody who is creating content day in and day out. Um, We'll be making content for this kind of e-commerce site I've got here with kind of these interactive modules, um, but also things like like rich PDPs that have storytelling and are able to keep us linked to the creators of products or be able to talk mm -hmm. about process and also this long form content. So uh, these features will kind of work for any kind of content, but we'll be working in this particular context. So without further ado, the features that we'll be walking through today will be Sanity AI Assist, which is a way to build custom instructions that tackle the chores of everyday content management. The second will be perspectives and improvement to our preview tooling. So it's easier than ever to build visual previews. And the third and final will be visual editing, which gives editors the ability to jump from a place in a preview build to exactly where they need to be to make the changes that they need to. Awesome. Sounds like a jam-packed demo, and I can't wait to see this all come together. Let's get started. I think it's probably pretty obvious for anyone who's who's listening to this is that it's so easy to move fast when you have a single source of truth for content. But it doesn't always start that way. To get there, we need to aggregate content from a, a bunch of different sources. We need to pull content in from Shopify and have sort of Shopify data show up in our in our content. Uh, we need to be able to bring in sort of text that's from other places and look at figmas to determine design. So we'd like to bring all of these together into one place. So the first thing we usually start from, the thing that we see most with our customers is starting from uh, data, starting from the Shopify data that we saw here before. In this particular instance, we're looking at a, an item in our Shopify catalog. In this case, we've, we've got in sort of an active state. If I were to put into a draft state, we'd see that sync almost instantly. So in this case, if I look at this, this mini pod I've just changed, you see this unavailable in Shopify and a bit of a warning there. The minute that I switch it to, to active again and give that a save, we'll see that update in real time. We're always listening to those changes in Shopify, which means that it's really easy to bring forward different fields that we'll need as we sort of build out content to use metadata and be able to have those kinds of add to cart buttons that we have throughout our site, but we don't really need to, to look at it here. It's just uh, data that we're using in this particular field group, but we'll probably be focusing on, on this editorial experience that we're seeing here, even though we'll be using that data in various parts of our studio. Right, so this editorial tab, this is all the information that's providing that storytelling context that you mentioned earlier. And the Shopify sync data also will be sent to the front end and composed together to create those PDPs you talked about. Exactly. But as you saw, we don't really have any editorial data here. We don't have any editorial content here yet. So that's where our next feature comes in, Sanity AI Assist. I mentioned before that our data comes from all kinds of different sources. Our content comes from all kinds of different sources. And one of those that we've often seen with our customers and, and other users are are this Google Docs experience. So um, we all love structured content, but I think that's something that's important to note is that it's easy to use the tools that are available. And especially when you're brainstorming or, or back and forthing with somebody who doesn't have access to the studio, this is probably the easiest way um, to, to get working together. TJ, I, I think you've been through the same workflow for our own website. Definitely. We have, you know, many people on the team who aren't familiar with the CMS and aren't working in it day to day. And so this is the material they use, Google Docs. And so at this point now, the, pro the process and step is to take this information and translate it to the right fields, make it staged correctly in the CMS and make sure everything works. And it can be a bit of a hassle to do. And I'm super familiar with that chore. 
Exactly. And we've been very careful. We've tried to sort of call out our call outs and SEO and FAQs. But even then, even with that kind of clarity and structure after all of our, our composing, um, it means that I have to do a lot of copy and pasting and going back and forth between different tabs to, to make sure that things go in the correct fields. So we'd love for people not have to do that kind of chore. We've got a new tool that we're able to use here. Up here in the top right, you'll see that I've got my icon for it here. And I can see I can just run an instruction just straight out. If I wanted to, it'll load up this kind of input box that I can put up and, and start working. But I'd love to sort of take a step back and see how this mm. is actually constructed. Jumping into the instruction here, you'll see that this is actually just a plain spoken, uh, regular English instruction. There's no coding required for this part. But I am able to do things like create that user input box and actually give uh, you know, instructions to my users or even detailed description if I wanted to. Um, I'm able to kind of point out different particular fields in my schema that it should pay additional attention to if I want to make sure that things are, are just right. So even a non-technical user can sort of build these kinds of instructions that will make sure that our AI assist will do exactly what we want it to. It's a bit abstract without me actually running it. So I guess I should just run it. Yeah, let's see it. All right, let me first uh, copy and paste my content here and click run instruction from there. So all that is now in this input box. If I click run instruction, we'll start seeing the magic happen. And just as it is, you didn't do any formatting on that doc other, you know, when you moved it over. You just pasted it and said, go at it. And so now what I'm seeing here, it looks like it almost is like another human editor running through this, traversing through that document and filling out the fields as it is, uh, has it, as it's been told to in the instruction itself. Exactly. We are even working together in the same document. If I were to do another task while, while we're here, I can continue working in those fields. Um, I think another thing to point out is that I, I also have made this instruction shareable for everybody. So, you know, this, this make visible to all studio users means that we can all work off of the same workflow. Um, but to kind of give a bit more detail to that workflow, we'll see that it's added a lot of content that is really structured. So if I jump into my portable text editor, we see that it's actually added a call out where I asked it to add a call out. This link with a title is also exactly in the right place. Um, there's no sort of unfamiliar data in my, in, my, in my content here. All of this is exactly where it should be, including even the SAO data on a different field in a different place. I didn't even see this part happen, but um, the AI Assist tool did. Awesome. And now it looks like there's a little bit more to fill out on this tab. I did not finish up my SEO task in that Google Doc, or my content creator didn't. Uh, so we should add a title now. Um, people use large language models for all kinds of things, and I'd love to generate something based on the content I already have. This is a really highly requested feature. So when before I added this sort of document level where my AI assist walk through the entire document, I can also just run it on this individual field here. So I've defined an SEO title here. If I go and just show what's happening under the hood very quickly, we can see that again, plain spoken, easy to understand language that's, that's fed in here. And again, I'm telling the uh, instruction, the instruction includes an instruction to look at the body field and compose something based on it. So it can actually read the content that's already there and then do other things based on it. We can be iterative here. I think the other key thing I'd like to point out here is that it's also using our brand guidelines. So in this case, this is something that we call context. And context is another sort of feature in, in the AI Assist tool. Um, I think it's really exciting because, uh, especially for collaboration, to be able to formalize across an entire organization that's writing content, the rules that you need and how things are going to be generated um, makes it super useful to just be able to have confidence that whatever's being generated here follows what um, the best practices that we've laid out for ourselves as an organization. That's awesome. So this is context that is reusable across any instruction. And so as I continue to make instructions, I can refer back to this context, in this case, the brand guidelines. And if we open that up, oh, it's actually quite involved. So it's 434 words of context and including things like target audience, conversational tone, focusing on benefits, that's amazing. So that's set by a different team applied here. And then the rest of our studio members who are working on these product pages can reliably link to that source of truth and use that as part of their instructions. 
Exactly. And I, it can be used across any instruction, across any document type. We probably want our products and our pages to follow the same kind of tone of voice and same brand guidelines. So it makes sense that it's something that we can share share together. All and right. I can make context on not just like uh, the actual brand guidelines, but even translation guidelines or other types of reusable context. Uh, that's just one example. Exactly. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what sort of emergent cases people will do to to figure out how, how we can sort of feed in more information and, and make this sort of more personalized to exactly the kind of content we want to create. All right, let's let's generate our, our much better SEO title here. There we go. So we saw that same functionality where AISS was in the field, and you'll see that it actually is using the exact language that we had from our from our body field. This entirely recycled material that we saw here actually made it through into our SEO title, but is also emphasizing the things that are laid out in our brand guidelines, like being eco friendly and sustainability. All right. So now I actually have completed my my written content task, but before this page can ship, I would love to make sure that it's to spec. We've provided visual previews for a long time. We've been able to let people sort of see things as they type, but we have released a new feature that makes this so much easier. And that is our next feature, perspectives and improvements to Sanity's preview tooling. So previews are easier to set up than ever. Um, they're available for more frameworks and various presentations, including mobile apps, and they're faster and they scale for complex websites uh, driven by thousands of pieces of content. Right. Yeah, because in a composable context, these content previews aren't just a single page. It's piecing together content reused in many different places. And so it can be difficult and complicated to build these preview states. Uh, but I think what we've shipped today has just made it a lot easier to compose together multiple pieces of data across multiple projects to provide editors that confidence and reassurance they need to get their job done. Yeah, exactly. I uh, I think that with our new preview tooling, we no longer have we, we can preview an unlimited amount of documents. We we can be able to connect all these things together. Complex projects and complex uh, content experiences require you to have all these different documents in different places. Um, so we're able to listen to it all just by adding a different parameter in our code here. So this is the sanity client that comes with our hydrogen. Uh, uh, plug in here so we're able to see that we have this preview draft parameter uh, what this means for an end user or for somebody who's developing to who wants to achieve previews means that you don't have to sort of write complicated code or, or logic to to make sure that you're pulling things in it just happens and we always know that everything is going to be pulled in everything that we're referencing is being pulled in in this draft state um, in addition to that because we are sort of listening to all things in draft state we can we can push that into our being able to see that as we type across anything. So, you know, adding a new content here, being able to, let's say, change this entirely to match my new generated SEO title, for example, means that even now listening to this draft, I'm, I'm able to get super performant uh, uh, results as I'm looking at this preview over here. Amazing. That happens so fast too. Yeah. Yeah. It's super, it feels very responsive. It feels quite delightful. Um, Moving in to, to look at my content again, I think we mentioned about this page being to spec. And if I were to look at that Figma that, that I have before me here, uh, we can see that uh, we have a note that's crop and I'm missing this image entirely. So jumping back into my studio, we can see that I should probably add an image and it's below this call out here. Um, I'll pull in an image using this images sort of block and add this from our content library i believe it's just down here and that should just show up in my preview as soon as i add it there we go so we can see that i have this full preview uh, in play here but it's not quite right i can see that the actual spec here is, is cut off at that plant over there so if i were to go ahead and give that an edit again and uh, crop it i should be able to get the results that everyone is looking for across my entire team. So jumping in, we see now that I have this crop here and it matches exactly, and I'm able to feel confident that this particular image uh, will look exactly as I've been told it should look uh, um, when we publish this PDP. Nice. And that image, you didn't have to upload multiple copies of that image and set the crop for each presentation. Instead, kind of what's going on here is that crop 
information is treated as data and flowing to the presentation as you specify within that block. And if we're using that page, uh, that image on other pages, that crop could be different uh, depending on different contexts. And uh, so that's pretty cool that we didn't have to manage and upload several uh, instances of that to make this work. Yeah, if we were to go back to this kind of you know media library view that we saw, that gives us a kind of global view of the way that our 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 product looks or our our images look here. We'll see that it. Um, I don't have a million different versions of this image. I only have one, and it's actually being used in several different places, which I also have visibility into here, which is nice. Once the content team feels good about what they've made, the next step is to get the final sign off from their stakeholders, all those people who were involved in, in drafting that brief that we saw in Google Docs and in Figma. So all those people may not have access to the studio. So instead what we'll do is actually give away this preview URL and send it around on Slack or whatever we use to communicate to make sure that they can have a look at what they need to see. Um, so I can actually jump over to that page uh, now and, and see what's happening here. Uh, in the sort of preview page, I actually might get a message from one of my stakeholders or a reviewer that says that we actually need to update this uh, bit of microcopy, this free shipping that we see here. Um, we now offer free two-day shipping for all products, and that's something that we definitely want to advertise. Um, this is a great example of data that's used in multiple places across our entire site. Yeah, and I know these are the kind of fixes that need to be tended to urgently, but I can also imagine they're tedious to make when you don't have a single source of truth and you're having to go through several documents in order to make that small microcopy change. So I'm really excited to see how this next feature makes that delightful and makes it simple for me as a creator. Definitely. We can quickly address it now because we can use one of my favorite new features, which is visual editing. Um, in the past, hunting down where this content is coming from or, or how it fits into the sort of larger PDP that we're looking at here could be really tricky. Um, sometimes uh, content that's reused will end up in a complex document or, or somewhere else that I may not be familiar with, um, especially if you're new or unfamiliar with our content model or with the studio. So instead, I can actually go to the same preview page here and use, we're in Vercel right now, so you'll see this uh, tool here, and I can actually see exactly uh, where this is going to be coming from through these overlays that we see here. So I've got it for, for my content here, but I can also see it for um, this free shipping uh, button here. So there we go. And then I'll, I'll click and open Insanity Studio and actually jump over to exactly this URL that we see up there and even to the right spot in this document. So we'll actually see this delivery summary. And that apparently is where that microcopy was coming from. Awesome. Hey, can I go ahead and come into the studio and make that change as well using the same feature? I would love that. Okay, awesome. I'm going to go ahead and click Open Insanity Studio. And I see you there. Hey, Carolina. Hey. Good awesome. seeing you. So I'm just going to go ahead and make your life a little bit easier and make that change. Free two-day shipping. Looks good in the document. Do you think you could open up a preview and we could verify that it looks good on that page and maybe other parts of the site as well? Yeah, let's jump over to the mini pot here, that one that we were editing before, and open up that preview again. Let's see. Um, jumping over here, we'll see. And uh, yeah, there it is, uh, free two-day shipping. Um, so let me check another product that we've got here, this uh, tray that we see. Um, and if I jump down, we'll see. Yep, there it is again, free two-day shipping. OK, looks great. All right, we've done all the fixes that we need and we've created all the content that we, we'd like to. So now we are good to schedule this to go. Um, when are we dropping our, our, new, our new pot? Well, probably Fridays are a little risky. So let's do a Thursday drop. And um, right. you know, I guess 8 a.m. is fine. I'm an early riser. Uh, but uh, could you make sure that that's mountain time? Ah, I'm an EST, right? You are in Denver, is that right? Yep. There we go. Done. Update time zone and schedule. All right. So I just got this toast telling me that schedules have been created. And I can now verify this if I wanted to or just give visibility to the rest of my team. That is going to come out on the 27th here. And you can actually also see kind of this agenda or calendar view to make sure that everything is ready to, to go out according to our content schedule. So to wrap everything up, um, 
we did a couple of things here. We started with a completely bare uh, PDP with no kind of storytelling and the messaging that we wanted just coming from Shopify. We can use that Shopify data for, for everything we need to across the site, but we were then able to do the rich storytelling that we wanted in the tools that we liked in Google Docs and be able to collaborate and, and work with people outside of the studio if we wanted to. But we were not limited by that Google Docs experience. We were able to use AI Assist to format everything into exactly the format that we needed to make it work within our studio to match the kind of structure that's really valuable to us. Uh, the second thing that we did once that content was there uh, was worth previewing it. So we were able to make sure that even without uh, anything ever going live, that everything looked exactly right into spec. There's no need to uh, publish and pray or worrying about um, having to make last minute fixes after something has gone live. Uh, and the third thing that we did was actually make that tiny microcopy fix somewhere else in the studio, somewhere that might be hard for somebody to track uh, just from clicking a, a box in our, in our preview build that we could send to anybody. Um, all that end-to-end -end, uh, tasks are able to sort of shave time and, and concerns and just make writing content the, the delightful experience it should be. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so amazing to see all these features come together for a smoother, more visual end-to-end -end content workflow. And finally, content teams can have their cake and eat it too. Definitely. As you and Patrick said, I think in the in the last uh, part of this call or part of this, this webinar, Sanity is a great experience for both developers and content teams. Uh, we know that composable content is the only way to sort of achieve content velocity. Being able to have content that can work across all surfaces makes a lot of sense, but now we've made it easy to work with for, for everybody on the team. That's amazing. Thanks, Carolina, for such an awesome demo. How can people dive deeper into what they saw today? Great question. So the rec recording of this demo will be available on our website. And we, my team, Solution Engineers, are always here to give a custom demo. Uh, current enterprise customers can chat with their solution engineers, like me, about any questions for their own setup. That's awesome. So be sure to check out sanity.io slash enterprise if you're looking into our enterprise capabilities and learn more about our full offering and to schedule a demo with folks on our team like Carolina. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, TG. Much of what we showcase today is available for all of our customers as well, including updated previews capability, Sanity Connect for Shopify, intelligent image handling, and so much more. You can learn more by exploring our website, reviewing past announcements posts from this summer, and just saying hi in our community. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment on this video or reach out to us there. That wraps up today's demo. Be sure to keep an eye out for more releases coming later this year.